Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue with Jozo's bizarre adventure game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you're you if you are receiving application error with the game, then make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, then allow the game exe file to your Windows security. So if you have any third party antivirus, so if you have Bitdefender, Avast, Norton, McAfee, whichever antivirus you have, if you have F-Secure, so make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. And in case of if you are using F-Secure antivirus, in that case, disable Deep Guard and then launch the game. Now, for Windows security user, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security. Now, click on Windows security. Now, click on virus and threat protection. Now, click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now, click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, select C drive, open program files x86, open Steam folder. Now open Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now over here you will find the game folder. In my case, the game is installed in E drive. So open Steam folder, Steam apps, then open the common folder. And over here you will find the game folder. So open the game folder. Now select the game exe file. Now click on open. Now once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Also type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to system and security. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings on the top. Now click on allow another app. Now click on browse. Now this will take, this will show you the screen. Now go to the game installation folder, open Steam apps common, and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, then click on open. Now click on add. Now once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Click on the OK first and now launch the game. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. On NVIDIA website, select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search. Scroll down over here, you can see GeForce Game Ready Driver. This is the latest one right now. So click on get download, click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file and then you will see the screen, click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. Now let the installation complete. Now, after the installation, your driver should be up to date. Now, for laptop users with dual graphic card, make sure that you're running the game on a dedicated graphic card. Now, for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Click on graphics settings. Now, click on browse over here. Now again, go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Now click on add. Now once the game is added over here, now click on options. Select high performance and now click on save. Now launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator for this. Go to Steam. Make a right click on the game, uh, game and then select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, 
go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok now make a double click over here and then launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from steam do not launch from steam make a double click over here and then launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 file and download x64 so download both x86 and x64 then run both the exe file install the file and after the installation restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to disable steam overlay while in game for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this and now launch the game also if you have any other overlay application running so close all the overlay application so if you have discord running on the computer close discord now if you have geforce experience running close geforce experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi after burner running on the computer so close msi after burner so if you have MSI Afterburner running, close it. If you have Revert Tuner running, close Revert Tuner. So close all the overclocking application. Also perform clean boot. For this, type in System Configuration in Windows Search Box and then click on System Configuration. Now go to the Services tab and then put a check on the box which says Hide All Microsoft Services. Put a check over here, then click on Disable All. Now click on Apply, click on OK. You will see the Restart option, Restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to update your windows to the latest version. So make sure that your windows is up to date. Go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on windows update or update in security. Now click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game file for this. Go to steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification launch the game next step is to try launching the game in window mode also lower down graphics settings for this launch the game first now go to graphics option now over here you can see resolution if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p or even you can lower down more also try window mode so if this is set to borderless or full screen you can set to window mode and turn off vsync and if the texture quality is set to high you can set it to medium or you can even try low now for shadow quality also go for medium or you can even go for low turn off motion blur and then apply the settings now launch the game once again now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so try launching the game on single monitor also unplug these devices so if you have these devices connected on the computer and if you're not using it disconnect external devices from the computer also if you have these software running on the computer close this software so make sure only the steam only the steam and the game is running the rest close everything including all your browsers also remove the undervolt so if you have undervolted your hardware remove the undervolt and then launch the game last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so go to steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder and then restart your computer and after the system restart reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive and then check so one of the steps should help you to get this game running on your computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel